Uh, welcome everyone. Today we are at this uh, bridge site. Uh, this uh, we are at this uh, truss steel truss bridge site. Uh, this is a, a 60 meter span steel bridge site. Uh, today it is raining, but with uh, difficulty also. Uh, we want to continue our today's video on this uh, 60 meter span uh, cross steel bridge. Uh, as you can see around me, uh, that is our uh, 60 meter span cross bridge and it is totally raining. As we can see this is our bottom cord bottom cord of this truss of this bridge uh, we can see this is a, a two channel build up section uh, with uh, additional plates on it uh, this is our uh, side view of this bridge uh, where we can see different members like for example uh, we can see this one bottom cord spanning from ear to ear it is nearly 60 meter span bridge then we have the uh, inclined members okay this inclined member this inclined member is the in records of this bridge similarly we have the top cord running from the uh, spanning from the in record to the next in record at the next end of the bridge we have the top cord this one is our top cord uh, similarly we have uh, members like this verticals this and this throughout the bridge on one side and similarly on the other side uh, these are the abutment of the bridge uh, while talking about these uh, in records okay these in records the size of the in record is generally bigger than the size of these verticals or these inclined members it is because when we do the design we can see the forces the uh, let's say the value the value of the force coming in these in records is more than the uh, verticals so the size is definitely bigger in the in records uh, as we can see here also the size of this in record should be bigger than this uh, inclined member or this vertical member the size of this in record is generally bigger okay uh, similarly, we can see these are the in records. These are our bottom cord members. Similarly, this is our inclined member, our vertical member. Similarly, this U1, U2. Uh, these members connecting U1, U2, U3, U4, U5. Similarly, are our top cord members. This is our uh, bottom plan view. And in the bottom plan view, we can see. Um, okay. Uh, this this is our bottom plan view in the bottom plan view we can see this l0 not l1 l2 these are the ori horizontal braces at the bottom at the level of the bottom cord of the truss this means these braces are at the level of this bottom cord of this truss okay these are the horizontal bracing and similarly we have this uh, these are the bottom cord of the truss these are the bottom cord of the truss and similarly uh, the bottom cord of the truss are connected by our cross beam or cross girder these are our cross girder okay and we have the the stringer beam the stringer beam is connecting our cross girder cross girder to cross girder cross girder to cross girder these are our s1 s2 are, are, are our stringer beam this is our bottom cord and this are our cross girder and we have the horizontal bracing also similarly from the uh, this was the plan view uh, at the bottom cord if we look the plan view at the top cord that is at this level if we have the plan view at this level then we can get this diagram where we have this inclined in records okay in records then we have the top cord members that is u1 u2 u3 u4 these are the top cord members and similarly we have the bracing these are the top cord bracing that is represented by tcb in this diagram we have this top cord bracing okay this is the uh, general um, side view and the top view at the bottom cord and the top or the plan view at the top cord now we are at the bottom view of this steel truss bridge 
uh, we can see different members uh, from this bottom view like this one is our cross coder similarly this one is our bottom cord member which is a double channel built up section with lacing similarly this one is the next side bottom cord member similarly this one is the cross coder this one is cross coder connecting the bottom cord to next bottom cord through gusset plate similarly these are uh, also the cross coders and between the cross coders uh, we have the stringer beams this is cross coder and the between the cross coder we have the stringer beams generally we have the ismb section for the stringer beams we do not require we don't require bigger sizes for the stringer beams so we generally have the ismb section for the stringer beams also we can see the horizontal bracing these horizontal bracing are made up of double angle section bolted by three bolts okay this bracing original bracing are connecting the bottom cord to the bottom cord at the next side similarly we have a gusset plate at the center connecting the four horizontal bracing by three bolts in each member this bracing is made up of double angle bolted section Uh, this is the overview of the bottom view of the bridge and this is the river flowing, Sethi river flowing. Here also we can see the bracing, this horizontal bracing at the top cord because these are the top cord member. This one is the top cord member and while connecting the top cord member we have this horizontal bracing and similarly we have this horizontal beam this one this one is our horizontal beam and if we see the size of this horizontal beam uh, it is just a simple eye section or a simple channel section because the uh, primary purpose of this horizontal beam is not to take the load but just for stability and for simple load so we don't have the huge size for this horizontal beam similarly we have the bracing all over Similarly, we have this knee bracing also that is connecting our verticals to the uh, horizontal beams. 